everyone. Thank you for tuning in. This is your instructor Joy. So this is the music that we're going to work in. somewhere this was fiddlers on the roof um, now um, I decide to make this video because um, I met a violinist who said it uh, this violinist decided to play violin because of this particular piece so I thought that was such a beautiful story so I thought maybe you might be interested to learn this one um, um, you might have watched that movie already, so maybe you find this one interesting. So now, this Fiddler on the Roof is written in D major scale, which means for us, so we're gonna use only D, oops, D and A string. So I'm gonna show you the scale that works for that. So D string zero, first finger E, now F sharp, Third finger right next to second finger, G, then lower your bow arm, let all go, A, first finger on A, which is note B, C sharp, a little further, then D, like that. So notice, finger positions are same on D and A string, yeah, that's the one what we need. Then, later, there are accidentals. Accidentals are not at the beginning of the music, but throughout the music, sometimes you see sharp sign, which is the number sign, or flat sign, a little stick with a half circle, or natural sign. Natural sign looks like a L and number seven combined. So maybe something like this, <laughs> like, L and 7. It looks like sharp, but it's not quite sharp. So what does do that? As you know, when it's sharp, let's say I have, um, I have um, one note here. If it's sharp, it goes half pitch higher. So towards me, that would be sharp. Or if I want to make this not flat, which means I have to make half step down, meaning pitch goes down and away from me, that's sharp and flat. The natural sign that looks like L and seven combined is the one that cancels everything. So that's sometimes what happens here. So even though we're playing D major, this one is played with a sharp. That's why it's closer towards me than not here. But sometimes it cancels it by putting a little natural sign in front of this note. Then I have to bring the second finger down. Yeah, I will explain that one a bit later when I go through the, this piece. Do not worry if you don't get it right away. Um, most people don't learn at once but by repetition. So that's, that's how we all do. So then first finger here, E. There's a later. Just for that specific note, there's a flat sign in front of that note, in the middle of the piece. That means instead of here, you have to put your finger away, which makes a half step lower, like that, yeah? So we got the left hand part. Now now, right hand, even though I uh, categorize this piece as a beginner violin, but it's not complete beginner violin, it's kind of advanced beginner violin, if you may say because we're dealing a little more complicated bow wings. So you notice that I'm staying mostly upper half bow or two thirds of upper uh, bow from the tip. I don't go to the frog. So I encourage you to do that because near the frog, it's a bit harder for us to make nice sound. I promise you, I'll show you how to do that later. But for now, we want to use only two thirds of upper bow so that we focus on making beautiful sound. So there is a beginning, you start the tip, then you go maybe all the way half. Now we're gonna play slur, which means you have to play multiple notes in one bow. So instead of down, 
up, I'm going to do down, down, and continuous, down bow. So how do we do that? It can be very hard. So because we have to divide the bow very well, I encourage you to start where it is and then kind of eye measure where is your head. Mark it, mark in your head, and then break it, stop in between, even though we're not going to stop, but just an edge on exercise. Stop. And, ooh, did I use half? Yes. Continue. Like again, beginning, a bow. Now this is slur. Half part of the down bow. Stop and then go. Like that. If you have done enough time, you are teaching your hand to keep certain bow speed for each note. Therefore, you can try it whether you can see continuous down bow, which is actually what is printed. Common mistake here when you do down bow, um, a lot of artists use a lot of bow and they're running out of bow. There's no sound. So make sure you use the same amount of bow. Watch your bow. Yeah? So, good tip would be. Um, use slower down bow when you do slur. So not so fast bow speed, but slow bow speed. Uh, slow bow speed. Yeah. Then um, the next two notes has staccato dot. Staccatos are the little dot that's either below the note or above the note, which means those notes has to be short. Not necessarily faster, but just play it short. So there's many ways of playing a staccato. Just just stopping the bow, or in this case, I want you to learn how to play up bow staccatos, which is very fancy, but it works very well in this piece. So I want you to do that just like what you did before when you're practicing slur. We're going to do this time up bow twice. Same idea goes. So we're using only two thirds of up bow. Divide those parts into half, and the first one only one part, stop, and another one. The calculation and both speed is very important. Yeah, see if you can practice. Yeah, which we you can keep uh, developing this upper speed is One of the fanciest bow technique in violin playing. So it would be good for you to start learning um, earlier if you can. Here, when you do upper staccatos or any other staccatos, it's very important that you don't keep the bow too heavy. So here at the beginning, you can put a little weight, but you have to release it. But remember, the bow does not leave the string. The bow stays on the string, just gets lighter. Yeah, it's a little lighter, but bow stays. Yeah, then it goes like this. Right here, you can separate both staccato. Also, remember to put a little weight at the beginning, but release the weight. So your violin sounds nice and resonate. The same idea. Slur. But now the F natural, the natural sign that cancels everything, happens with it flat like this. Now F natural right next to first finger, E flat all the way to the knot. Again. Now F natural, not here, but beside the first, then E flat. Stay continued. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe and share my videos. And please keep sending your questions. I would like to know what you're working on. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye.